Welcome to One Team Kitchen. I'm Clive Smith. I'm the General Manager with Synexo Corporate Services. Today, we've got a little uh, South African influence inspired uh, spatchcock chicken or a flatty chicken peri peri, which is going to be accompanied by uh, smashed roast potatoes with a little rosemary and salt and pepper and a, uh, an assortment of grilled vegetables. We okay, we're going to start off with uh, a, a spatchcock in the chicken. And basically, when you come to uh, we call it a flatty chicken or a spatchcock chicken. It's taking the backbone uh, out of the out of the chicken and uh, breaking it apart so it lies flat. It helps for easier cooking time uh, that it's all even as opposed to uh, to roasting. So uh, the easiest is uh, flip the uh, the bird over, and so you've got the the backbone in front of you. You can use a uh, chef's knife or kitchen shears and we're going to make an incision just around the backbone and you have to just make sure you're being very careful that your knife doesn't slip so what I've done is to, to make sure that my board doesn't slip I put a little paper towel wet it underneath so my board is not slipping on my uh, counter surfaces so I'm going to just apply a little pressure and I'm going to cut through the backbone and as you can see now we're going to flip this over and here is our backbone over here and I'm just going to cut that out and we're going to dispose of that piece and then we just really want to flip it over and sort of flatten it out. Okay so now we've uh, spatchcocked our chicken, uh, made it flat, we're going to work on the marinade. And the marinade is a uh, peri peri uh, chicken, and I'm going to be talk about making my own. But uh, one of the easiest ways to uh, marinate the chicken is I always like to use a Ziploc bag. I'm going to um, just pop it in the bag and I put it in a bowl. So it just makes it easier for me to uh, pour my ingredients in later. So what I'm going to do is let me just take uh, my board out of the way, and we'll give a wipe down, and we'll come back and we'll focus on the marinade and um, we'll carry on. Okay, we're going to make uh, the marinade. Um, I've actually uh, made some prior. I make it and I, 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 I bottle it up. Or we could use a store-bought, uh, which is a Nando's Peri Peri, uh, which originated in South Africa. And we actually have uh, stores down in Washington, D.C. or you can find it in some of your local supermarkets. So. Uh, my local chili sauce, we got uh, chili sauce here. Main ingredient is the bird's eye, bird's eye chili. Uh, we're gonna add it to our um, Ziploc bag with the chicken. Um, I always like to add a, uh, some fresh herbs, uh, coriander, parsley, uh, and then some fresh garlic, and then take a uh, fresh lemon, and just sweeten it, not sweeten it, zest it up, I should say. Yeah, we are on the wrong citrus fruit there, but uh, we're just gonna work that juice out and into our chicken. And we'll do the other half. And then that should do it. And now we're gonna take our bird out of here. We're gonna close our Ziploc bag and the best to get the best flavor is we want this to sit overnight or at least sit for a good few hours before we're going to throw it on the grill or dry it later. So right now I want to just massage um, my marinade or my peri peri sauce into the chicken and then we're going to just massage it there all there and I'm going to put it aside into the fridge and we'll come back later on. Okay for the vegetables for our side dish uh, what I've done is I've uh, I prepped some of my vegetables I used a combination of uh, peppers uh, some uh, carrots cut into uh, segments and some quartered onions uh, I like to marinate it in a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and a touch of balsamic, which I've had sitting around for, for about an hour. Uh, I'm going to just pour it on a, a greased sheet pan, 
and um, I'm going to throw it in a hot oven, uh, 475, and then just uh, you know watch it uh, caramelize and cook, and we'll be back later on. And then for our smashed potatoes, uh, what I did is I, uh, I've chosen some Yukon Golds and I parboiled them so they are, are soft. You know, put a knife in and they fall, fall right out. Uh, again, on a greased uh, pan. And I'm just gonna smash them out um, throughout the pan here. And um, what we'll do is we're gonna touch it with a little olive oil uh, salt and pepper and it'll then get thrown in the oven so we're going to just sprinkle a little olive oil over the top some salt some crushed pepper and we can use regular rosemary or dried rosemary um, I'm going to do a little bit of both but I'll prep the choose my kids prefer the dried rosemary so um, I'll do the dried rosemary for them and I'm going to do a section with some fresh rosemary okay so our uh, chicken is finished marinating and now it's braai time braai time or braai is a South African word for grilling cooking over heat so uh, we, we often hear barbecue grill cookout all different versions. South Africa is braai and it's cooked over open flames. So today I'm using a uh, kettle grill uh, with some briquettes. Got a nice heat here, but it's time to clean the grill. I'm gonna use a, just a white onion and uh, on an edge of a fork, you're gonna rub it backwards and forwards and the onions, the acid in the onion helps break down any sort of dirt, rust or any, build up that might be on uh, on the grill and we just give it a nice little sort of shimmy around there try to get it all off and you'll see um, the um, onion is coming clean my grill's not too bad we can throw the onion in gives us some little extra flavor but now it's time to get our bird on and we do an indirect heat so we're going to put our, our flatty chicken on peri peri Flatty going on here, and it's um, we sit it and let it do its thing. Um, it will cross off nicely. We'll check it now and then. Um, just leave it like that, and we will pop our lid on. Put the vent okay, we're going to check on and see how the uh, our peri peri uh, chickens doing. Uh, looks like the skin's uh, browning up nicely. We're going to take a, a temperature reading, make sure that we've got an internal temperature of 165. Uh, we'll let it sit and rest for a while, and uh, soon it'll be dinner time. I'll get back to my beer. Thanks. Okay, there we have it. We've got our uh, flatty chicken, peri peri, off the uh, braai. Our smashed potatoes out of the oven, along with our uh, roasted vegetables. And uh, for pairing, you know, whatever beer you like, we've got some uh, not being able to get any local South African beers. I have to stick with uh, local Delaware County beers. So I've got something from 2SP. And um, when it comes to wine, I'm very partial to South African wine. So a great Chenin Blanc from uh, Thierry Blanche from the Swartlands will be a great accompaniment. And, uh, Pinotage, which is a unique grape to South Africa, is uh, also a you know good go-to wine. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of a taste test here and uh, see how it all came out. So we're just gonna take a little of that crispy skin off. Look at that; it's nice and moist in there. Okay, we're gonna put this on there. Just it's nothing like the best part of the chicken is the wing to me. We're going to try to spud here. Vegetables. Let's give it a whirl. Chicken is moist. It's got the spice that comes through nicely. The roasted vegetables are slightly al dente. 
listen to that skin crunch. Beautiful, beautiful. Cheers, time to try it out. I hope you all enjoy it. And um, thanks for watching this uh, video. And uh, have fun making your, your braai and your very, very chicken.